Hello, friends. It's Becky Bridgem, and I'm super excited about our topic today, which is supplements. And one of the reasons that I'm super excited is because I feel like this is something that can be super daunting. And I just said super, like super five times in a row. So I will try to avoid using that word. It'll be like a little mind game for me to try to avoid using that word again, because that could be obnoxious. Well, I'm very excited to share about supplements today because they can be daunting. It can be overwhelming. And so today we're talking about what, what every woman needs to know about supplements and which ones are a waste of your money. Because guess what? You work hard for your money and you don't want to waste it on something that's not working. It's not right for you or it's just trendy. And so we're going to go through all those things. How do you know they're right for you? How do you know they're not right for you? Then I'm going to share a couple that I use every day just to tell you what works for me. And again, if you have any questions, please reach out at the end. But the the bottom line is they can be a lot. Why? Because this is probably a billion dollar industry, right? The health and fitness industry as far as not just the workouts and the workout gear and the gyms and the programs, but supplements are a huge part of a lot of people's fitness journeys. And so it's a huge market. And so you can be bombarded with ads constantly, whether that's on your social media or Even inside of our gym, we have billboards for different products. When you go to the grocery store at the end of the aisle caps, you can get a lot of information being thrown at you. And some of it may apply and some of it might not. Some might just be shiny, cool marketing. You're like, hey, that chick looks like she's healthy. I should use what she uses. So we're going to break down how do you know what's actually right for you? Um, How do you know it's going to work? How do you know it's worth the money? How do you know that if you don't like it, if you can send it back, right? There's so many layers that I think sometimes we get overwhelmed or we just kind of use whatever someone else said, like, oh, my my friend uses that, so I'm going to try that. But is it right for you is the question, okay? So we're going to unpack that a little bit. First thing I want to talk about is how do you know if it's right for you? For the first topic is, does it fit a personal goal for you. Now, my testimony is I've for years just kind of used whatever gym my husband would buy. So he would buy a pre-workout and I would just take that one or he would buy protein. I would just take that one or the multivitamins I shared. I would just eat my kids gummy vitamins. Well, none of those are more maybe bad per se, but they probably weren't great either because they weren't designed for me. Now, if my goal is a certain type of workout, there's a different pre-workout than that and than the one my husband might use. Or obviously my kids' vitamins are not designed for a grown woman. And so you wanna make sure that whatever you're buying is right for you, right? Not just for woman to woman, but also for goals. Like you might have a friend who is taking creatine because she's doing a fitness competition or she's taking, you know, double doses of omega threes because she's a marathon runner. You're like, well, oh, if she's doing it, I should do it. But it, everybody's goal is different, so that's why we want to make sure that whatever you're choosing is specific for you, your health journey, and your goals. So one, you got to set your goals, right? Where are you trying to be at the end of the summer, at the end of the year, at the end of next year? And the supplements are designed to literally do that to supplement your journey. Uh, to help fill in the gap. So that's the second thing that we want to talk about. A supplement is designed to solve a problem or or um, help you reach a goal. So like I talked about the other day with the micronutrients, most of us are not getting the vitamins that we need for optimal health, right? That's a gap. That's a problem that taking a high quality vo- vitamin can fill, right? If you're having joint pain, an omega-3 can help fill that. If you're having trouble reaching your protein goals, a a protein supplement can help you reach that goal, help fill in the gap. So that's how you know a supplement is right for you if it helps you solve a problem in your life or fill a gap in your nutrition or your wellness plan. Third thing is it should be high quality and it should work. Okay, that's another thing. You don't want to waste your money on things that don't work or they're poor quality. And I get just as frustrated, you know, when I really started looking into this and doing research, that was one of the things that I was finding is I wanted a collagen supplement because, you know, I have pretty thin hair. I've had extensions in my hair before, which make it look like I have healthy hair, but I just don't. And so I really wanted to try collagen. I was seeing all these, like, it was just trendy, but I'm like, the people that I'm seeing using this art don't look like where I want to be on my fitness journey, not even just their appearance, but just like their health and wellness and their habits. I was like, I'm going to do some research and find some collagen that's being used by people who are healthy, 
who are getting results, who, who can prove that it's effective. And that's pretty much how I found first form was because people that I knew trusted and used the products like were healthy and fit and strong. Like, that's what I want. So I did my research and I found this company. I was like, this stuff is awesome. So doing your research to make sure that it's high quality is important. And again, that it works. So you need to look at the bottle to bottle. You can take a bottle of omega-3s from Sam's Club. And I did this a couple weeks ago and the omega-3s from First Form. And if you literally compare apples to apples, it's frustrating how little potency are in a lot of these, I would say like watered down versions, just as much as not just that they're cheaper, like cheaper doesn't mean that they're better. Just like more expensive doesn't mean that they're better. You might be paying for a, a name, a brand, because some celebrity is promoting it, and that could be just as watered down. So you really want to be comparing apples to apples for specific ingredients. And if you ever have a question like, hey, I use this brand, I'm interested in trying a different brand, can you help me navigate that? I'm happy to help. And one of my um, friends and customers who started using the collagen said, Hey, I've been taking this other collagen for a while. And like, I didn't notice any difference. Well, I can speak from experience that taking the collagen for me, I'm cutting my nails like every three days. Like I can see there's a physical effect on my body that is help that this product is helping. So one, if people, you know, and trust use it, look at their results and also compare apples to apples product to product to make sure what you're paying for is going to be effective for you. Don't waste your money on stuff that doesn't work. And also make sure that what you're using is producing the results that it says it's going to, right? So if you are buying something that's supposed to give you energy, do you feel energetic? Is it supposed to make your skin feel better? Does it feel better? Is it supposed to help you recover faster? Is it doing that? If the product that you're buying is not doing what it says it's going to do, get rid of it. Send it back. Get your money back. Like, Do not spend time or money on supplements that don't work and don't do what they say they're going to do. And that's one of the things that I also love about First Form is we have 110% money back guarantee. So if you you know try a multivitamin, it makes you nauseous. I have not had that problem with, the, with this brand. I've had it with other brands. You can send it back. If you get a protein, you're like, this flavor is not my favorite. You can send it back. It's no questions. 110% money back guarantee, which is a nice uh, feature because sometimes you just don't know what's going to work for you and you don't want to waste your money, right? So you may be like, oh, I don't want to pay $20 for vitamins. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, the $15 version. And it's, if, if it doesn't work, you're wasting your $15. So making sure that what you're buying does what it says it's going to do. It's highly effective and you have the option to take it back if it's not working. Um, last thing... So those are all the reasons that you can know if a supplement is good for you. Does it fill in a gap? Does it help you reach your goal? Does it make you feel good? Is it high quality? Um, but here's what you can think of. Does it, if uh, you're wasting your money on the supplement. Okay. So those are the reasons that you would know that it's a good choice for you. And here's some reasons that you can think that it might be something that you don't need, right? First thing, if it's not directly related to one of your problems, right? So like I said, if your friend is taking omega-3s, but you don't have an issue with joint pain or recovery, or you eat salmon five nights a week, you might not need that, right? So is it specific to you and your journey? Yes. Is it not? No, don't take it, okay? If it's too advanced for you. So a lot of times you'll see, like if you get a fitness magazine or you're in a gym and you'll see an ad for, say, a pre-workout or a BCAA or a creatine, you're like, oh, maybe I should use that because this athlete uses it or because, you know, my marathon runner or friend uses it. But you're not, you know, taking a vitamin, an omega-3, you're not eating healthy. That's a, a product that's too advanced for your journey. Start with the basics. You want to make sure that you have your foundation of health and wellness first. And then there's also those add-on supplements that might be for very specific things. But if you're not there yet, don't waste your money on it, okay? Third thing is if it's not working, right? If you're trying a product and it's not working, don't take it. Again, send it back. And the fourth thing is if when, when you would know that you're wasting your money on a supplement is if you're not committed to your healthy habits, right? So a supplement, again, is something that's supposed to come alongside you in your journey. It's not your quick fix. If you're not drinking water, you're living on fast food, 
you're not sleeping, you're not moving your body, a supplement is not your band-aid for poor habits, right? It's only going to help you so much if you're not helping yourself with your healthy habits. Now, if you are drinking your water, you're getting your sleep, you're eating your food, you're moving your body, a supplement can help you get to your next level and get to your goal quicker. So don't waste your money on buying supplements if you're not committed to doing the, the healthy habits that are going to come alongside those. Okay. So that would be a reason that if you were going to waste your money on supplements is if you're not doing the rest of the work, right? So now let me share with you a couple of my favorites that I use every day. I brought a couple of other ones too that like Jim or Joshua uses just to give you some examples. But again, these are going to be specific for you and your journey. So just because I use them doesn't mean you have to use them, but if they do solve a problem or fill in a gap in your nutrition, I'd be happy to help you answer any questions if they are right for you. Okay. So the first one is the multivitamin. Now I shared this in our video the other day, why we need a high quality multivitamin. And literally I took the prenatal vitamin that I used from first form and I took my prenatal gummies from Target, which the prenatal vitamin I probably paid like a little bit extra for, right? So it's not even that much more expensive. I would have to take three of the three servings of gummies to one serving of prenatal. So that's where I'm saying get back to back, apples to apples, comparison with what you're using, with what you could be using, and you'll see a huge difference. So a multivitamin for sure. I use the prenatal. There's also the M Factor Goddess and then the M Factor Men, which is the one that Joshua uses. And the men and women's versions are different for a reason. Now, sometimes, you know, these supplements are not going to be gender specific, like the protein, anyone can use it. The pre-workout, anyone can use it. The greens, they're not gender specific, but our vitamins are because men and women have different needs as far as vitamins. I know this one has, has something that will help with testosterone. The female version, the goddess one has um, digestion and also hormone balancing aspects of it. So that's super helpful too. So that's what I would recommend if you're not pregnant like me and you need a good multivitamin, we have those um, M factor goddess and M factor men. We also have the M factor packs, which I pulled out. These are what Jim uses. These are packets of vitamins that don't just have your vitamins, but they also have a greens caplet. They have an omega three. They have a bunch of other things. It's like your one-stop shop. Um, but again, this would be, if you're, if, if you're thinking about these, let's talk because you might benefit from starting with one of these before advancing to the micro factor pack. So Jim is an athlete. He does a lot of stuff to his body. He needs everything in this box. Okay. So those are some of the multivitamins. Second thing I would recommend is your greens. And we talked about this again in the other video because your gut health is so important for you to actually in digest and absorb all these vitamins, all the protein that you're eating, all those phytonutrients, your gut is where you're going to absorb 90% of the nutrients that you're putting in your body. So it's super important. A lot of us don't get what we need to keep a healthy gut, right? So the greens that's here, I use two scoops a day in my juice. Um, it's got like nine different plants. Everything's organic. Everything's cold processed. Like it's high quality greens. And if you look at ours compared to like some of the other ones, say so you might grab at like uh, Walmart, ours are like bright green and theirs are like, they look like a, a, like a soft, like sage color. You'd see in like a baby's room, right? They're, these are jam packed. So they help with digestion. They help with bloating. They help with inflammation. So I notice a specific difference. Like we're talking about, sometimes you take a vitamin, you don't really feel like, oh, I don't, it's not like caffeine, but with the greens, I feel healthier. I feel better. Um, so that's the second thing that I take. The third thing I would recommend is omega-3s. And that's what I was saying. I compared to the ones that we had from Sam's Club and the ones that we have from First Form. And the, the brand, the name of it is called Full Mega. Oh, I didn't bring it up here. I forgot. But that's one that it's... Um, when you literally compare it, omega-3s are super important. They help with your heart health. They help with your joints. They help with your skin. They help with your brain. But a big thing that they help with is inflammation. And so a lot of you know my daughter, Shiloh, is an athlete, high school athlete, and she was getting injured. I'm like, Shiloh, you have to add in high-quality omega-3s to help with your recovery. And since she's been taking them, she hasn't been injured. Uh, because what it does is it helps your joints, it helps your recovery, it helps your inflammation. And the, the specific thing that you're going to want to be looking for is the amount of omega-3s that are in these supplements. That's what you're going to be comparing. Because we eat omega-6s, which are found in a lot of our processed foods. 
compared to our mega threes, which are found in like nuts and salmon and um, high quality oils, though we have those at a ratio of 24 to one in the average American diet. So supplementing with them is super important because most of us are not going to get that in our average diet. So omega threes are super important, again, for that heart health, joint health, skin, um, inflammation, and I would hi highly recommend those, okay? So the fourth one I'm gonna talk about is collagen. Now this is one that I would say, I use it, but maybe you might not need to use it, but I actually looked it up, what the, what's the average age that you should be su supplementing with collagen? And the answer is 30. At, at age 30, our body will stop producing collagen, not stop, it, it will reduce the amount of collagen that we naturally produce, which is for our hair, our skin, our nails, our joints, our bone health, right? Our body health, collagen is a vital po po part of a healthy body at 30, it will reduce. So collagen is one that I have definitely noticed a difference in my hair and my nails and how I feel. Um, you know, can't, I can't get anything done. I can't get Botox in my face because I'm, I'm pregnant, but I, my skin actually feels better because I've been taking the collagen. And that's a powder that I just put in my coffee. I use the unflavored because the, there's a number of different flavors. There's like peppermint, there's caramel, there's vanilla. Um, I tried the vanilla. It's a little sweet for me. So I use the unflavored. I put it in my coffee. I don't even know it's there, but I feel that it's there when I'm taking it. But so that, but that's one that, you know, specific to me, maybe specific to you, if you're over 30, if you're struggling with, um, joint pain or thinning hair, wrinkles, um, brittle nails, that'd be something I would definitely recommend. And then the fifth one that I use every day is our protein. Now, when we talked about tracking your food and getting your protein goal every day. Sometimes that can be challenging if you don't want to eat like a meat at every meal or a cheese or a yogurt. Most people I find who are going to be able to hit that are going to supplement in some kind of way with a protein, whether it's a protein bar or a protein powder. And guess what? Some of them are delicious. Like the, the level one that I use is good. And this is also a thing that you should be checking quality for quality because you can buy a jug of uh, protein at say Sam's Club, but it might have less effectiveness and it actually might actually give you more gas. That was what I would find with a lot of the bars and the protein that we used to use is there's different ways that they process protein. This is low temperature process, which means that it's um, kept at a different state so your body can digest it easier so you don't have gas. Because sometimes that happens. You use a protein, you're like, oh my gosh, I like smelling at my house all day. Who wants that, right? Nobody. And so I use the level one I put it in shakes, I put it in muffins, I put it in pancakes, I put it in my oatmeal. Pretty much almost every day I have a serving of that protein. It's got 24 grams, which helps me hit my goals at the end of the day. And again, it's yummy. I, I personally use a lot of the vanilla because I can put it in anything. It's not gonna really change the flavor. I can mix up my shake flavors. But the, again, there's mint and there's chocolate and there's, there's all different kinds of flavors. And if you f try a flavor you don't like, you can send it back for your money back, which is also a good feature. And then I also use the bars. So we have our protein bars, all different flavors. These are good in a pinch. A lot of times I have a bar before I go to the gym in the morning. Um, right now we have the peanut butter lover and the apple crisp. And these again have 24 grams of protein, which is a really good amount. Like we talked about trying to hit that 25 to 30 grams of protein with every meal to help your body process muscle more effective. This is where this supplements. Like if you're out and about and you're like, oh my gosh, I am doing errands and I'm starving, keep a bar in your purse or in your bag or in your car to, to grab rather than rolling through the Wendy's drive-thru, right? That's where it supplements your health journey. It makes it easier for you to stay on track. A couple other things that, so those are the five that I use every day that I would highly recommend. Again, if you have questions on any of those, I'm here to answer them. A couple of the other ones I brought up are magnesium. Um, Jim takes that at night to help him sleep. It's really good um, for so many reasons, but it's a great way to naturally help sleep. We also have Core 21, which is a co cortisol blocker that helps, again, with sleep. You can tell that's the issue sometimes in our house. Um, what else did I bring up? I think that's it. But if you have any more specific supplement questions, like say you hop on the website, I got this question yesterday and someone's like, hey, what does the digestive enzymes do? Or what does this product do? Or should I try a fat burner? I'm here to answer all those questions. But I just want to, in general, give you an idea of how you know if a supplement is good for you. How do you know if you shouldn't waste your money on it? 
and a couple of my favorites. So again, if you have questions, let me know. And I'm here to help. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, friends.